There's also been bad weather in the United States with heavy rain and flash flooding in the state of South Carolina. It's being described as a one in a thousand year event. The state capital Columbia received 18 centimeters of rain in 24 hours. At least seven people have died. Sophia Tran Thompson reports. After days of heavy rain pelting South Carolina, flooding in the streets of Columbia and Charleston has reached dangerous levels. In the capital, buildings and roads have been damaged and drinking water is under threat because of possible contamination at a treatment plant. On Saturday, President Obama declared a state of emergency, while the governor insisted residents should stay indoors. When you think about what we're sitting in right now, um, we are at a thousand year level um, of rain in parts of the low country. What does that mean? We haven't seen this level of rain in the low country in a thousand years. That's how big this is. That's how um, South Carolina is, what South Carolina is dealing with right now. The Congaree River is at its highest level since 1936. Roads have been closed and schools and universities have cancelled Monday classes. Some residents have been using kayaks and boats or wading through the water. Our work was shut down so we're just exploring. Just walking around enjoying it. We were thinking about grabbing the kayaks um, so we might just go around in the streets and kayak downtown yeah. by the battery. Others simply watched. Just sit down and relax. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> and just look at the flood out there. I wish I had a boat. State emergency officials urged residents not to travel and curfews were issued for Columbia and surrounding counties. However, hundreds of cars have become stranded with conditions blamed for a number of fatalities. Forecasters say more than 40 centimetres of rain has fallen in some areas and more is expected early this week. Sophia Tran-Thompson, BBC News.